Who is this year's Ross Dwelly? Hmm. Good question. Um, this year's Ross Dwelly. Okay. Okay. Well, this I don't have one name for you, but I got a few. Um, the rookie tight end, Chase Harold, gets open. He had 60 yards receiving today in a, in a scrimmage. He beat Jason Verrett, who, who broke up a pass for Jordan Reed. Chase Harold, they use him a lot like they use Kittle um, in the sense that the staple play in the Niners offense is the play-action bootleg where the tight end runs underneath the offensive line and he's wide open and he catches the ball in the flat and runs upfield. Harold runs a 4-5. He's 250. He gets a lot of momentum. And when he can actually run routes down the field, he's got a little finesse. So Harold's one, but Dwelly was a second year player who made a name for himself and then made the 53 man roster when no one expected him to. So in that sense, the player who's a second year guy who could make the roster when no one expects him to not an undrafted free agent who's exceeded expectations that it's going to make the practice squad. I'm going to say Kevin Givens. No one's talking about Kevin Givens. I believe it's his second year in, uh, in the league. He played a little bit with the Niners last year, but mostly was a practice squad guy like Ross Dwelly. And when you watch him in one-on-ones, Kevin Givens, I say Chris Givens, Kevin Givens. When you watch him in one-on-ones, he's better than Solomon Thomas. He's better than Contavious Street. He's better than Javon Kinlaw. The only interior rushers who are better than Kevin Givens in practice are DJ Jones and Eric Armstead. So, uh, I mean, they're never going to make Kevin Givens available at the media, at, at the podium. I've never talked to him. I don't know what he looks like, but I've seen him play number 90. He's strong. He's low to the ground. He has counters. He never stays blocked like Solomon Thomas does sometimes. Kevin Givens today during one-on-ones, he's, he's, he's a nose tackle, a three technique. I mean, he, he used to be like an undersized interior pass rusher. He's thicker now. He's real beefy. And he can play DN too. Today he went, he lined up at DN in one on ones, went against Justin School, who's real good in pass protection. Beat him twice, inside, outside. Not just with a bull rush. I mean, with actual moves at DN. Solomon Thomas couldn't do that. Solomon Thomas could not beat Justin School. Wouldn't happen. Kevin, Gid- Kevin Givens made it look easy today. And School's no pushover, he's no slouch. So that's a great question. I'm going with Kevin Givens who no one's ever heard of, except for Brian Baldinger. He pointed him out last year and he was right.